Hi, today I'd like to go over the concept of a prolapsed bladder. And if you think the bladder, what happens sometimes is that tips forward and down, and that would put pressure on the bladder, which naturally leads to issues like incontinence. So there are two factors that I'd like to go over. One would be tissue quality and also structure, and then we'll go over two exercises to help correct it. Okay, regarding tissue quality, let's just have a look at a bag. So imagine the tissues themselves, the quality of the walls of the bladder are weak. So if you fill it up with water, it obviously, if the tissues are weak, it's not going to hold form very well. So when you're moving around, there'll be a lot of shifting. In comparison, if you had a bag that's more stiff and you filled it with water, it would hold on to its form. And in terms of structure, Again, if the structure is solid, when you're moving around, it, you can move around a little bit, but the structure itself will hold if the structure is weak and collapses. And especially, of course, if the structure is tips forward and downward, then you know things will start shifting around. So here we're going to work on two things to help build better structure and build up and improve the quality of the tissues. A simple way to build elasticity in the tissues is to do something elastic, like that. So if you could just spread your toes, press them into the floor, keep the toes connected, and every time you bounce up and down slightly with the heels coming up and down, you'll build that res resilience, and that will help the, the hold of the tissues, the fabric of the, of the bladder will be stronger. And if you'd like to, you bounce off the floor, keeping the legs stiff, let your hands flop, and you'll see that you'll be bracing your abdomen to protect you, and those tissues there, again, will strengthen and prevent collapsing. Another one to build structure. Now, imagine the pelvis like this tilts forward, and then naturally the pelvis will prolapse and fall forward. And, I mean, I know a lot of people do pelvic floor work, that's fantastic, but you need to maintain that when you're standing up. So if you could get a band or a strap, and you take an overhand grip, and then wrap the hands and pull out, so you've got tension on the outside of the shoulders. The stance is slightly wider than hips. Really importantly, press the toes into the floor, tuck the pelvis, take that excessive arch out of the lower back to help bring the pelvis into neutral position. So you should not be like this, but tuck under, yeah, good. So you have a slight arch, which would be a neutral spine position in the lower back. Okay, the movement in terms of engaging the diaphragm, inhale and the arms come up. Now do not allow the pelvis to drop. Exhale on the way down. Good. And now keep the shoulders down from the ears, engaging the glutes. Keep the ribs in the body. Do not allow the ribs to flare forward. Exhale down. And as you're performing this move, you'll be strengthening the muscles to help hold the pelvis in position and prevent the prolapse of the bladder and, of course, all the other organ systems. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm Utara, and please join our Zoom classes. Have a great day.